What's going on guys, it's Eric coming at you with a brand new video. Um, today I'm doing a top 10 Kyle Seeger cards from my PC. Um, I've wanted to do this video for a while now. Um, Regicidal, or Lee, put up a top 10 Noah Syndergaard card lately. Um, our friend Nick from CSB did a top 10 of Hanley Ramirez, and I believe Brian over at Brian Sports Cards did a top 10 of Sonny Gray as well. So, finally decided to make a top 10 Kyle Seeger cards for me. Um, wasn't an easy video to put together. Um, I have a lot of Kyle Seeger cards I like. A lot more than 10 that I really like that I had to leave out of the video. So, sometime I'll do a full Kyle Seeger PC collection for you here. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the top 10 here. At number 10, I have this 2014 Topps Update Series Kyle Seeger. Um... This is the first year he made the All-Star game, and I really like the card because of the little logo there and the patch going on there. Um, just an overall really clean looking card. Um, Kyle's been able to um, kind of up his offensive production in each category. Basically, every year he's been in the majors, which really talks about um, the development, the adjustments he's made as a major leaguer, and I really like that. Kind of under-the-radar player still, so I really like... Um, the All-Star Game card there. At number 9, I have this Bowman Sterling from 2011. Kyle Seeger rookie card. Really like the overall design of this card. The refraction, if that's a word, on this card is really cool in person. Um, overall design is really clean. I have the autographed version as well. I didn't put it in here um, because like, I don't like how like bottom half of the card is kind of cut off. And um, the autograph is kind of like, how should I put it? The autograph, I don't know, it kind of looks rigidy. It doesn't look authentic, even though it says authenticized by Tops at the bottom there. But there's the number nine for me for Kyle Seeger. And number eight, I have this 2010 Tops Pro Debut Kyle Seeger card. Uh, I got the little Arizona League, the logo thing going on there. Got him in his spring training kind of uniform there. Um, this was back when he was still playing second base. Really, really nice looking card. I like the design from this year a lot, 2010. Um, just an overall clean card. This is, um, I think, one of my first Kyle Seegers I picked up that wasn't a relic or numbered or autograph card. And one of the first Kyle Seeger cards ever made. So I really like that one. That's number seven for me. Or number eight for me. At number seven, I kind of had to cheat a little bit. Um... Got somewhat of a rainbow going here. Go with the gold. Got this 2011 Bowman Platinum Series. Gold, 50 of 50 Kyle Seeger. Um, these cards are just really um, simple, I would say. I'm in the, sim the simple things in life. You can't tell by now. But um, the card is really simple. I've heard people kind of bash like how um, these they didn't really like these cards. Like They, they were like, oh, Bowman and Topps kind of just... Um, kind of got lazy on the designs. I, I don't know. I like this card a lot. Um, got the auto there. All the autographs on the my Bowden Platinum ones are pretty uniform, pretty similar, pretty clean. Really like that. There's good. There's really cool refraction in person off this card. Oh God! Good thing I have a top loader. Got it. Uh, got his um uh, kind of like minor league report right there. It's got comps for him. Um, kind of gives you like little rundown of what makes him special. He's balanced at the dish. He has gap power, infield, versatility. Obviously, he was at second base during this. Now he's at third. Um, just really like this card. Um, so that is number seven for me. At number six, I have this 2015. Yeah, 2015. Tops Kyle Seeger career high card 96 rbis like i was kind of talking about earlier he's been able to kind of up his offensive production each year he's been in the majors which i really like um this card is just really really good looking i think the colors of the um, stats there and the career high there really complement um his jersey really nice design it's kind of got like a inceptionized look to it um sticker auto really clean auto on the sticker um Probably would have had this a little higher if it wasn't a sticker auto. Um, I don't mind sticker autos, but I think this would have looked a lot better if it was an on-card autograph. 
So, number six. At number five, I have this 2015 Stadium Club. Yep, 2015. Just got to be sure. I don't want to deliver you some fake news. But 2015 Stadium Club. Um, really like this. What I really like about Stadium Club is how simple the cards are. Like, you just got a no borders, got the picture there, got a clean on card auto, and kind of got um, this little, just like little thing at the bottom here where it says like his name, Stadium Club. Um, overall, I just really like the simplicity of Stadium Club. Um, the pictures they put on the cards are really clean. Um, really um, helps you like kind of be in the moment, I guess. Um, I have a really cool Cole Calhoun one I'll have to show you guys sometime of him like walking out the tunnel. It's a really good look. But um, yeah, this is number five for me. Nice, clean, on-card auto. I think um, Stadium Club has some of the coolest on-card, or nicest on-card autographs. Um, really excited for 2017. I think Kyle Seager's got an autograph in that one as well. So, my life hobby box is that. At number four, I have this. 2016 Tops Triple Threads. Kyle Seeger printing plate. It's the blue version. Um, I really like the blue version because it really complements the colors on the patches well, and it complements the autograph there. This is my first and only printing plate I own. Um, I think it's the second one of one I ever got. But um, it's really cool to have a printing plate, especially from Triple Threads. Um, personally, I'm not a huge fan of Triple Threads, but the printing plate is just beautiful to me, um, especially in this color, like I was saying, because of the it how it complements everything, but um, clean auto, nice um, three color patches there, uh, and it says 2014 All Star, which I love. So that is number four. At number three, I have this 2015 Topps Dynasty three of five Kyle Seeger with that emerald, beautiful emerald color there. Um, Shout out to Chris over at KG Sports Cards. Um, he uh, He's actually one of the people that kind of really got me back into collecting. Um, I kind of stopped collecting cards around 9 or 10. Um, I'm 21 now, but decided to get back into it. Um, I just really, really like the look of this 2015 Dynasty design, um, especially this color of the, of, of the um, number to five um, cards. This emerald, like almost watercolor type of look here, I think it's really, really complements the the patch well. It's a really, really nice, clean signature and black pen there, or black sharpie or whatever it is. A um, little dirt there on the Mariner patch. This is from the Mariner logo on the front of the jersey there. Um, gives you a little blurb about him, um, what he's accomplished there. Um, I have the ten uh, out of ten one as well, uh, just like the green. Um, the emerald kind of color there a lot more so that is number three for me at number two I have my very first one of one from 2016 tops update series this is an own the name um, from the back of Kyle Seager's jersey one of one right there um, like kind of Lee was saying in his video um, outside of like a laundry tag or a logo man I think an own the name um like letter from their last name is one of the coolest cards you can get. I don't, really don't know if this is the E from the C part or the Gerter part, but um, ripped a few jumbos of 2016 tops update, trying to hit the other letters. Haven't had a chance. Um, I didn't have luck at least. Uh, haven't seen any more on eBay. Um, not really going to chase the 2017 ones from his name, but um, yeah, first one of one really special to have a letter from his last name on the back of his jersey. So that is number two for me. At number one, I have this 2014 from Topps Museum Collection, number two of five. Two really nice patches there. Got a beautiful signature right there. Um, this is one of the first low number cards of Kyle Seeger Relic Autos I ever bought. Um, I just really, really like this card. I really like the like kind of granite, um, mar or not granite, marble type look on the card in the museum collection. It gives it that like high end fancy look. Um, clean autograph, beautiful patch from the Mariner logo. I think that's from the M 
part of the logo where it says Mariners. Um, just an overall really, really beautiful card. I really like this card a lot um, since it's like one of my first um, low numbered. This is the first like card I really like kind of spent money on in terms for um, for Kyle Seeger, for like a player I personally collect. So I really like this card a lot, um, both because of the design and the meaning it has to me. So that is number one for me. Um, give you a quick bonus. Didn't make the top ten, but I do have this National Treasures from 2016 Kyle Seeger, kind of like a laundry tag part there, number three of three. Um, if it was more of the laundry tag, I definitely would have had this in the top ten, but I thought um, the other cards I had were just a lot more significant to me um, that I like, so I put them in my top ten. Um, let me know which card you guys thought was um, your favorite. Um, I would love to see if you guys um, have people you collect to make a video of that. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know how I'm doing. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Um, more content to come, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.